<clears throat> Hi there. Uh, I'm just going to do a little quick, uh, simple clothing tutorial. Uh, I just made a quick base head just for kicks. Uh, I'm going to do pretty much uh, Homer Simpson's uh, shirt. So we have a reference image here. I'm going to try and work from that. And uh, basically the way I like to start modeling uh, when it comes to this is uh, I like to keep the grid on for starts. You know, place, they usually finish modeling the head or so. And uh, kind of make sure you box model the position so you know, like, the height of Homer Simpson. Like, maybe this is, like, his shirt. And then pants. So I already know his legs look a little bit long, so I'm going to try and shorten them out. Copy it over. Hold shift. Yeah, sure. So that'll be my template. I go to my layers. I create a new layer while I have all my boxes selected. Create new layer. I'm going to call this layer template. I'm going to freeze it. Actually, I'm going to hold those objects, push Alt X, which turns them see through, and then I will freeze it. Now I have a template layer. And now I will begin modeling the shirt. Now, how I like to begin modeling clothing is usually I have a base character which has, like, you know, arms and legs and stuff like that. But let's say we have a character like Homer here that doesn't have arms and legs. And we kind of just want to start modeling his shirt. Um, basically, what I want to do is look at the reference image and uh, try and figure out shape-wise what the best shapes are to work with. So uh, I'm kind of looking at the stomach and the torso, and I'm thinking a cylinder would might be best. So I grab a cylinder. And I build up like this. So I push F4 on my keyboard so I can see the edge faces. And uh, basically I just want to create that belly and build up the upper torso. And I'm going to give him maybe one more height segment. I'll give it some caps. I'll lower the side amounts. Keep it low poly because then I can just heighten up the polys afterwards. And I'm going to start, you know, adjusting. Now, The Simpsons is a little difficult when it comes to third person, because um, most of the characters are drawn 2D, and usually the 2D reflects, um, you know, how the animators want it to look like. So we're going to do our best here. I noticed that his chest kind of pumps out a bit, just a little, little bit, and then his stomach really starts coming out. And the shirt just goes off like that. So I'm pretty content with a little torso. I might do some slight adjustments here. I'm going to grab all these vertices. I'm going to scale a bit. Now all this was was creating a cylinder using the scale tool. So all I did was create a cylinder. I grabbed a whole line of vertices. And I used the scale tool to make it bigger or smaller. And that kind of creates a little bit of a belly for me. Now I'm going to delete all the polygons underneath here and on top here because we're really not going to need them. So I'm just going to highlight that, hold Alt to deselect these, and I'll do the same thing for the top. Hold Control, and I left-click and drag, select all that. Alt, left-click and drag to select what we don't need, and delete. So now we have an empty shirt and an empty bottom. Now, what we can do is now that we have this empty shirt, we're going to have to make the collar. So we're going to... Uh, I'm taking a look at the reference art here. I'm going to bring this down a bit like that. He has kind of a v-neck thing. And I'm going to grab these edges here. Hold control to select multiple edges. And looking from the front view, I can see his neck is big, but certainly not that big. I'm going to squeeze it in a bit like that. I'm going to hold shift and drag while in edit mesh mode and that way I can get this collar pumped up I'm going to hold shift and drag again but this time I'm going to also push R to go to scale mode scale out a bit and then push W go back to translate mode and push down so now I have a bit of a collar look going on and I do my adjustments to make sure it looks more like the reference art like this this collar usually meets the V shape here so I'm going to pop that up, like that. 
I'm going to pop this down a bit like that. I'm going to hide our template layer. I'm uh, sorry, I'm going to create a new layer and call this final. And I'm going to add the body to it. Which you can see now has its color and everything associated with it, which is fine for now. This is just, like I said, just a template. And, uh, well, uh, sorry, this will be our final model, but the template is just there for scaling. I'm actually going to hide our template so I can just work with the uh, body that we have here, kind of give it some adjustments, put it in place. So all this was was a cylinder, some simple extrusions, and we pretty much got that nailed right down. Um, and now we need to start on the sleeves. So I'm going to go to one side of the body. Uh, and what we can do here is we can actually delete half the body. So I'm going to grab polygons, half the body, delete. And I'm going to go to tools, mirror, and then set it to a reference. So now that anything we do to one side will happen to the other side as well. I'm going to make this white for now. Like that. I'm going to move his back in a bit because his back fat, I don't think, is that scale or size. Could be wrong, but I think that looks a little bit better, just like that. And now we're going to start working on the sleeve. So I'm going to push F4, go into edge mode. I see four polygons here. Maybe this is a little too bright, so I'm going to turn this to gray, or it's a little bit off purple here. I see four polygons here, or if there's more polygons, that's fine, because what we're going to do is we're going to extrude those just a little bit and then shrink it inwards. So now we can create sort of a sleeve because we've got all these new polygons. We're able to adjust them and make them into a more of a circle shape. that and you can play around with the vertices as much as you want and remember that the other side will also automatically reference this side so if I do this you can see on the other side we already have that new polygon the new polygons that we created I'm going to extrude and move it down like this Now I notice that the scaling might be a bit off, so I'm going to do some my own adjustments. I un I pushed undo and I redo and I hit extrude. Yeah, that's not looking too too bad. Now Homer Simpson's not going to look exactly like this, like I said his concept art um, because it is a 2D object that we're doing in 3D, so it's kind of new, and we're kind of creating our own scaling. But just do your best job and your best guess of work. Um, grab things like this uh, edging of the t-shirt here. I extrude just a little bit and then I extrude again and then pop it in. And now we have sort of like a sleeve going on there. And if I add a turbo smooth to this, we can see we got a much softer, better looking shirt shape going on here. And you can always turn off turbo smooth to see the low polygon, high polygon. And if you're in polygon mode, you can just, or any of the edit mesh modes or edit poly modes, and you click this vial, it will show you the high res, even while you're working on the low res model. So just, uh, yeah, just play around. I, like I said, the best mode is to, like how I started this whole thing was I just created a cylinder and I started extruding and cutting just to get the shapes right. Uh, I always use edge extrude, which is you just click edge, you grab an edge when you're in edit mesh mode, okay, edit mesh mode, hold shift, left click and drag and it will create a new uh, new edge and a new polygon for you. And I also like to use polygon extrude too as well. You uh, click on a polygon, you go down the menu until you see extrude, which is both an edit mesh and edit poly, and you just type in the number or go to extrude options and you can play around in uh, edit poly mode and you can do extrusions like this. But yeah, that's for Homer Simpson shirt. And I do the same thing for the pants, exactly like the shirt. I use cylinders for the legs, and then I merge them together and create a, uh, a pelvis. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so just go crazy and just play around with a little bit of modeling and stuff like that. And I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Uh, modeling is a lot of trial and error, so just keep going because you can never be wrong. Thank you very much, and uh, hope that was a little bit helpful. And bye-bye for now.